In today's video, I'm going to be making my second prediction on what Tudor will release at Watches and Wonders 2024 this year. I have a really good feeling that they're going to be introduced another M7941, which is the Meta Certified Black Bay to the collection. That's crazy, man. <laughs> That's wild. That's, that's During Watches and Wonders 2023 last year, Tudor introduced the very first Meta Certified Black Bay to their standard line, replacing the 79260 with the newer, more improved, more refined 7941. It has a bit of a weird reference number. Um, the fact that it is four digits instead of five digits is kind of interesting. Um, but that is Tudor's very first Meta Certified Black Bay and making it the second Meta Certified watch in Tudor's lineup alongside with the Black Bay Ceramic. This new Tudor Black Bay came out in Burgundy last year. And uh, the case is a lot thinner now compared to the previous one that they used, which uses an MT5602 movement that I covered in my previous video. Um, this movement was 6.5 millimeters thin, um, but it was very wide. And according to Tudor, it still used the same movement, albeit they changed the rotor to a tungsten rotor, which is a lot heavier. I think 2.5 times heavier than the steel rotor from before. That's why it has a U behind the new uh, caliber. It's MT5602U. And yes, I did remember, I did memorize my movement now, so I won't have that bit of a hiccup like I did last time anymore. Um, so the new movement uses a tungsten rotor and it is tested to meta certifications. So that includes... Um, testing it at 100% power reserve and 33% power reserve to make sure that it's only zero to plus five seconds a day. And of course, test it in all the different degrees. Previously, uh, cost, I believe, was minus two to plus four seconds a day. Or no, sorry, that was Tudor's certification. Tudor's in-house certification um, required watches to be regulated to minus two to plus four a day. Whereas uh, cost was a little slightly looser than that, if I recall correctly, I'll get it up on the screen here. But essentially, um, what Meta certification does is that um, it is like a more stringent set of criteria for the cost uh, certification, and uh, it also measures like up to seventy thousand, uh, either thirty thousand or seventy thousand gauss in terms of um, resistance to magnetism. Um, 200 meters water resistance is another one of them and of course snobbery comes in the movement has to be swiss made so even if you have like a highly accurate highly capable grand Seiko movement for example it wouldn't qualify for the meta certification so with that being said that's what tutor did with the burgundy m7941 black bay last year and it only makes intuitive sense that they would either introduce the blue bezel version or the black bezel version this year. Now, as I previously said in my last video, Tudor is not hurting, but they kind of are under a little bit of pressure to launch something slightly more interesting to the market. And whatever they launch has to top what they've been doing in the past four to five years, which is crazy. They went on a crazy run. Now the FXD, the Pelagos really matured. They got the Ranger, they got the Black Bay Chrono, of course, they got all the GMTs. And despite that, you know, you can't really control the market or the world's economic condition. And that's why we're kind of seeing Tudor take a little bit of a backseat here in terms of uh, market prestige and positioning. Um, so on one hand, I think Tudor is under pressure to launch something very interesting this year. But on the other hand, uh, Tudor is a Rolex subsidiary. So they're really never under that much pressure, to be quite honest. And then also, with that being said, on the third hand, well, yes, whatever. I don't know if Tudor can react this fast to the market conditions. I mean, the kind of overall outlook for Tudor, according to what I've seen and experienced, has only changed in like the last four to six months. So it would probably, yes, make a lot more sense for Tudor to quickly knock out a few blue bezels and to knock out a few black bezels and then roll out the meta certification 7941s in blue and black altogether. I think, to be quite frank, although this is not something that is ideal, these changes will come a lot faster than if they were to make changes to any other watches, like for example, the Black Bay 58s. Um, so with that said, I think Tudor has a very high chance this year to introduce new lines to the standard Black Bay line with Meta Certified Movements. Are they going to do it with any other watch? I think there's a possibility, 
But then again, that would be me expecting a lot out of my favorite brand, which uh, I've been let down in the past. I've seen that uh, uh, ceramic, they, they release a, 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 like their tutor, some, something Tina has a like cash app in his name or whatever, but the guy, whatever athlete he's in, I, I, I still got to figure that out. He was wearing like a um, ceramic blue dial watch that looked to me like a Gerard Perrier Laureato, you know, one of those things that just kind of sit there and, you know, it's like this hero product that no one really asked for or wanted. So hopefully they don't keep going towards that direction because it's probably not the best for the brand's heritage in my personal opinion it's getting to the slightly too much fun category um i know tudor has done watches like that in the past especially in the neo vintage area which aged okay but i think at this point i really want to see them focus on um, just kind of trimming down and narrowing down on their main core lines of watches and improving them you know without trying to sandbag themselves too hard like come on cut the thickness cut the size have better font placement on the dials and i think the brand would continue to prosper and do it even better than they are now so that being said guys i'm just making this quick short prediction video i think this one is probably the most straightforward and intuitive out of all the different ones that could be potentially out there all the variations all the different guesses and predictions and you know leaked news or whatever it is i think that the m7941 is going to be seeing new additions whether it's the blue the black or both or maybe green you know maybe harrods would get their new version early before they dumped all of their old stock who knows but i think that's along the line that tutor will be going into for watching the wonders 2024 let me know what you guys think make sure to like subscribe and i will see you in the Next one!